Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going on a shopping spree today to the Manchester Trafford Centre. So I just thought I'd do a quick video before I go out just to show you the outfit that I'm wearing today and the accessories. And then when I get back, if I've got any purchases, I'll add it to this video and I'll post it online. So a little quick for the camera, shows you that I'm wearing all blue today. Just some blue jeans, three quarter lengths. Slight heel on my shoe, nothing overboard because you don't want to be crippled walking around all day. Um, lovely blue top. Actually, it's not all about luxury brands, is it? Because this was from Asda and it was only £6 and I think it looks quite nice. I'm very pleased with that. Uh, also wearing the Michael Kors, if you can see it. Uh, Slayer watch in the blue and the gold hardware. And the bag of the day is going to be... Carmen bag in the chambray blue with the gold hardware so it'll be shoulder bag or maybe just top handles for the day or even crossbody not sure on that one yet uh, last thing the sunglasses I will just so you can see them better uh, Michael Kors got the MK on both arms of the sunglasses and that's pretty much the outfit of the day so I'm going on my shopping spree now not quite sure I'll need the sunglasses. Go. There you go. So have a good day guys and I'll get back to this video later with any purchases. Thanks. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is on a shopping spree that I had earlier and I bought a couple of items. Well in fact I only bought one item and the other one was given to me which was very nice. Um, so yeah I went to Manchester to the Trafford Centre I had a lovely time there, it was a really nice day out, went in lots of shops, there wasn't much queuing either, that was good, um, but the shop I actually went to Manchester for was the coach shop, so that's where my purchase is from, if you already follow me on Instagram you probably already know now what the purchase is, as I put it on there not long ago saying I really wanted it and I loved it. So anyway, first of all I'm going to open up the freebie I got, now I already know what it is because they told me in the shop, but I've not actually looked at it. So. If it's only a small item, but they gave me a really large bag because I actually love the packaging. As you probably already know, if you've seen any of my videos, I like the packaging that things come in and I do keep a lot of them. So when I mentioned this to Helen, who was the lovely lady who served me and coach, really, really lovely. Um, she actually said, well, we're actually doing away with most of our packaging. So they're going to do away with the boxes. They're going to do away with the bags, the plastic. So a lot of the time, I think from coach now, you're going to get just plain wrapping. So because of that, they said, we're going to give you as much packing as you can possibly have um, for such a small item. So this is it. So it's coming in a lovely bag with the lovely coach sticker on it. Um, so I will open up that. Try not to rip the bag. So inside, I have another box. <laughs> so another little box, again with a nice coach sticker on it. So open her up. Oh, lovely. So inside we have a little dust bag for my item as well. So they, yeah, they did go to town on as much packaging as they possibly could give me, which is absolutely lovely. Um, and they were dead nice about it they said you know we'll give you whatever we can basically so um so what the freebie was uh was a card pouch card wallet whatever you want to call it tiling up to you so um comes all nicely wrapped and there it is so it's a coach card wallet got the coach on it so you've got enough room for one two three there's, there's at least room for four cards because you could probably put one in each of the small pockets there on either side and that bigger pouch in the middle is quite big it's already got loads of packaging in it so that's quite big so you probably get another two or three in there to be honest so i'd say probably maximum about five otherwise it might start getting a bit tight to get your cards in and out um but yeah so for a freebie, I'm absolutely made up with that. I wasn't expecting to get a freebie. The only reason I think I did was because originally when I got to the store, they had actually put a rope around the two posts so that you couldn't just walk in. You had to just wait for someone to come over to you. And it was only like one customer in, one customer out. 
So I stood there and this gentleman came over and I don't remember his name unfortunately, but again, he was lovely just like Helen was. So he came over to me and he said, you know, can I help you with anything? I said, yes, I've come to view a bag. It's the Riley. So now you know what your bag I've got. I've spoke that. Um, I said, but uh, I've just come to view it really. I said, and he said, oh, sorry, we haven't got it in. So I said, oh, right, that's strange, because I rang a couple of days ago and spoke to a lady, and she said that you had got it in, and she would put one to side for me just in case I decided to purchase it. Instantly, Helen heard this. She was serving the other people at the time and said, is it Lynn? I said, yes, it's me. So he let me in then. Well, because he'd already told me that he hadn't got it and he was going to send me on my way, it was all a bit of fun, to be perfectly honest. He was the one that said, I'm going to give you a free gift because I feel awful now because I was going to send you away. But wasn't really any need, but it was... It was a nice gesture and it was lovely. So thank you very much to you, the gentleman that gave it to me. And I'm sorry, I can't remember your name, but I'm sure you won't mind. So you already slightly know now what the, what the bag is that I've got. But this comes in a really huge bag. <laughs> so this, there's no elegant way of doing this. I'm just gonna have to put it down and get it out to be basically honest with you. This is no elegant way of doing it. We have the coach box that it comes in. So let's that. So we've got the, the tissue paper inside, which is always nice to have. It's got extra bit of protection. And you can see I have actually not even opened this at all. Every bit of packaging is still on it. Um, I did try the one on that they had in store on display. So that's how I knew I liked it, like how it felt, like how it looked, like how it hung on me. So when I obviously said to you somebody wanted to purchase one, she, the one she'd already put in the back for me was all nice and new. So she gave me that one, obviously, because she wasn't gonna give the one on display. Um, an interesting fact, they're not gonna get many of these in, in the UK, I believe, because they didn't think they would sell. I don't know why. I think they're beautiful. That's my that's my opinion. I don't know why anybody else wouldn't think they would sell. But apparently he said, no, we're not going to get many of them in the UK because he just head off his set. I don't think we'll sell in the UK. I, I don't understand that. If you love bags like I love bags, you'll go to the end of the year to get the one you want anyway, won't you? So, out the packaging, more packaging, obviously. So, I'm going to take it apart. Oh, it's still as beautiful as I remember. So I'll take all that out. Okay. So obviously I could take a lot more out. Yeah, but just to give you an idea. Ta -da. So let me take the rest of it off. Because I want to really give you the full view of it. And I also want to see it myself with the full view, uh, if I'm honest. So there's lots and lots of packaging, but there always is, which isn't a bad thing, is it? Because you know full well that, that it, nothing's damaged it, you know? So it's not a bad thing to have lots of packaging. Um, when I say I keep the packaging, I don't actually keep all the packaging, like the plastic and the bits of um, foam and that that you get around it. I just keep the pretty boxes and the bags. Um, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I don't keep stuff that I don't need. Anyway, so we will put the actual crossbody handle on as well so that I can show you the full effect if I can get it to clip on. There we go. It's uh, never a good way of doing a video at the same time as trying to see what you're doing and showing your way of wearing things and doing things and how they work and i'm not professional at this as you can obviously tell i know that's come a great shock to you but uh i'm just winging it to be honest anyway so i'm going to take every bit of packaging out all from the middle so that everything is out and we can see it in all its glory Right, so that is everything out. So, first of all, you do get a lovely little dust bag with it, which is really nice, nice and cute, little coach dust bag. Um, 
and now the, for the bag itself. Okay, so here we go. So it is the Riley top handle, crossbody or top handle. So you get both with it. Um, in the chambray colour. Absolutely stunning. So cute. Really, really cute. I absolutely love it. Um, they've got the little coach and horses buckle there. And it's a Prestor. So opening it up, you've got um, pockets there. Pocket, front pocket, middle pocket. You've got another slight pocket there. Is that a pocket? It must be. be yes, it is. And a black one. So you've got <clears throat> a pocket there. You've got another small one there with a press stud on it. You've got that back pocket. You've got another zip pocket in this as well. A nice little coach booklet. So yeah, you've got your zip pocket as well. And then you've got your back pocket. And then also there, there's another small little pouch attached to the back lining. Um, <clears throat> so the, the top of it there is leather. Absolutely smells beautiful. But inside it's fabric, so it's not leather. I don't know whether that makes a difference to people. It doesn't bother me whatsoever. But the red inside is actual fabric, but that red is leather. So that things like that don't bother me. I'm not that bothered about that. So uh, you get a lovely little, quite weighty actually, little key ring holder on it as well. With um, coaching arse on it. It's actually quite weighty that. Um, and it's absolutely stunning i absolutely love it now i'm going to show it your crossbody so i'm going to have to stand up what i'm going to do first is put it on the furthest setting away so it hangs lower because um i like when i'm wearing a crossbody for it to hang as low as it possibly can that's just me it's just the way i am it's not for everybody's choice so this is the way i would wear it so i'm gonna to have to stand up for this guy so that you can see it so so there you go. So this probably wearing this top doesn't really do it justice because it hides how glorious the pattern is. So it probably would be better with maybe a white top because then the bag would stand out completely from the white top. So I'll probably not give you the best idea, but you can see the general setting of it. So it hangs lovely there, just on my hip. Absolutely love that how it hangs. Um, and then again, like I said, you could either just use it with the top handle or you could have it just on the shoulder like that. So, which again is a lovely way of carrying it. I tend to find when I'm carrying bags like that, I'm constantly going like this, putting it up, putting it up. So that, because that annoys me as you're walking, it's moving down. So I tend to wear either the crossbody. And then if it doesn't come with a crossbody strap, I usually hold it with the handle like that anyway. Or I would just, if it's got a bigger handle, put it onto my crease of my elbow and then just carry it like that. So, but that is absolutely stunning. I love it. Absolutely love it. I hope you can see it. I hope it does it justice. Uh, another pocket on the back with a press stud as well. So, absolutely made up with that. I really, really am. It's super cute. It's beautiful. Well made. Looks lovely. Cannot really find any fault with it whatsoever. I'm so pleased I got it. Um, it is £595 bit expensive I suppose for a small coach bag um, but it's probably one of the dearer ranges they do to be honest because you can get a coach bag for a couple of hundred quid to be honest so um, but it's a new one it's the signature one it's their new season and they do if you like that matching clothes with it as well ready to wear uh, I, I wouldn't probably buy them the shorts are beautiful they do um, all sorts of t-shirts and tops and leaving the jacket all in the same colour same pattern, absolutely lovely. They look stunning if you go on the website and look at them all together, they do. But they're on a very young girl, very slim young girl, which I'm none of them whatsoever. So I'm just gonna stick with the bag. But absolutely beautiful, absolutely stunning, and I'm made up with it. I cannot fault it whatsoever. So yeah, that was my shopping strip. Oh, one more little thing. Um, while I was in there, he showed me a version of this chambray, and I think he called it the Hudson or the hut, hut, something like that, I'm not sure. It was more square than this. It was slightly bigger. It was in the same chambray pattern. Didn't have the coach and horse bottle on the front, which I think makes this stand out. Um, so I tried it and it's very rigid, whereas this is quite soft. 
that was very rigid and I thought it would be too stiff of a bag for the way I wanted it. When I put it across body, it didn't sit nice, it didn't sit right. Um, so I didn't go for that one, but it would have been the cheaper option. But anyway, like I said, I went for this. So yeah, so I got my lovely little Riley top handle in the chambre and my freebie, which I have no idea where I've put it. It's a card holder, which I haven't got in card holders, to be honest. It's something I don't actually normally purchase because I usually have all my cards, my coins and my notes all in the one purse. I know a lot of people do coin purses and then just have the cards in a card Well, it saves that bulky purse being in your bag. It might be something I have to look into because I think a bag like this, you stand trying to stick a bulky purse in it and I think it would like damage it or just wouldn't look right so I suppose one of them and then a small coin purse would would be ideal really for such a small bag so anyway I'm absolutely made up with it I hope I've given you some good ideas on whether you would like it and whether you would purchase it um really pretty really beautiful lovely absolutely love it so dead made up anyway so that's the end of the video for today guys I hope you've enjoyed it and please subscribe to my channel if you like what you see I'll do more reviews as they go along. Like I said, I'm no professional at this. I'm winging it all the way. But I like to give people proper reviews on honest things, as you can see. I don't just do luxury goods. I will review other things as well because I'm an absolute bugger for picking things up that have come on the, the web and what have you and on Facebook and they've been advertising and they say they're great. So I do end up buying them and trying them. So I'll always give you an honest review. But anyway, this, absolutely stunning. Love it. Take care, guys. See you soon. Bye.